What I've seen, what the Lord has shown me. Because iniquity did abound, the love of many grew cold. The love of many grew cold. What has it cost you to follow Jesus? If it's cost you little to nothing, it's not really Jesus you've been following, or not the true Jesus. Now about Babylon, I've been shown these verses recently and again. This is from Jeremiah 51. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. My people, go you out of the midst of her and deliver you every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. And lest your heart faint and you fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, that is, the idols of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, saith the Lord. As Babylon hath cost the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of, the, of all the earth. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. In all your ways acknowledge Him. Him. And He will direct your paths. And the Lord reminded me of the lines to this song this morning. His strength is perfect when our strength is gone. He'll carry us when we can't carry on. Raised in his power, the weak become strong. His strength is perfect. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for speaking to me. It is my water. It is my bread. It is my wine. I bless your name, Lord. Put all your trust in Jesus.